Chapter 5 Democracy Background Freedom is man's birthright. Freedom has various aspects to it and democracy is its manifestation. Democracy as an ideology has spread to almost all countries in the world today because freedom is one of its tenets. Meaning of Democracy The word democracy is derived from the Greek word demos, which means people, and kresia, which means power, which means power to the people. President Abraham Lincoln of America termed democracy as a government of the people, by the people, and for the people. What do we mean by power to the people? The picture on the screen shows a small village situated far away to the north of Maharashtra. The village has a very small population. The villagers of this village follow different occupations. They depend on the forest land for wood to burn as fuel and river for their water supply. A majority of these villagers do farming in their own small plot of land. What will happen if each of these villagers were to live in this village by the rule of their might? Fighting over wood, water, land, livestock and other problems would leave their peaceful village divided. Mistrust and suspicion could lead to violence and even death. But if a few of these villagers were to get together and solve the problems, life could become peaceful again. What we need to understand here is that the villagers themselves can find solutions to their problems by collectively solving their issues. They can do this by forming groups and appointing leaders. They will then meet in groups and sort out the problems according to their level of priority and start solving them. Various villagers will put in their inputs, elections will be held, laws will be made and rules and regulations will be and have to be followed. A few elders of the village will be appointed to head their small government. Decisions will be taken and justice will be administered immediately. But in the event the village population were to grow, how will the village administration be carried out? In a situation like this, various governing bodies will be formed and work gets distributed. Each body will have a representative whom everybody will report to. What we see here is a rule brought about by people themselves. The villagers in question did not rely on any outside help. They elected their own representatives and solved their problems democratically. This essentially is the essence of democracy, where the government or the governing body is created totally by the people, run by their representatives who protect their interest and the interest of village or the country as a whole. But sometimes the situation can change if any one group or person were to exert its position and take over sole power. This would result in dictatorship or autocracy. The chart on the screen explains how this process takes place. Forms of Democracy The concept of democracy has existed since ancient times and over the years it has been through various transitions. Democracy today exists in various forms. Direct Democracy Direct Democracy existed in the ancient Greek city-states such as Athens way back in the 4th and 5th BC. In this type of democracy, there was a direct participation of citizens. Ancient Greek society did not allow a citizenship status to women, slaves and foreigners. This limited the number of citizens. Public issues were also not complicated those days. So, these citizens would solve their problem through mutual discussions and consultations. People directly ruled over the state. There was no government and no senate. This kind of direct democracy is impractical today. Because 
of universal suffrage and unlimited public issues. Indirect Democracy Indirect democracy is also known as representative democracy. Under this, people do not rule directly but through their representatives whom they elect. These representatives think, speak, act, take decisions and implement policies on behalf of the people. This means that people express their views indirectly through their representatives. Indirect democracy exists today in countries like India, United Kingdom, United States of America and France. The chart on the screen explains indirect democracy. Indirect democracy exists in two forms, the parliamentary and presidential. India and the United Kingdom have a parliamentary democracy where the prime minister is the head of the ruling party. France and United States of America have the presidential democracy where president is the head of the ruling party. How does indirect democracy compare as against direct democracy? Direct democracy is possible only with a small number of people. This is not practical today. Even though this type of democracy involves direct participation of the people. In indirect democracy, even though people elect their representatives, there is very often little interest shown by the people towards political affairs or other problems in their country. Very often, people do not even exercise their right to franchise. What happens then? In such cases, the ruling party or the elected leaders exercise or misuse their power. This scenario is common in underdeveloped countries. These countries have an array of issues to be solved like poverty, hunger, starvation, unemployment, illiteracy, sanitation, etc. Lack of public interest acts as an incentive for people in power to exploit the poverty and the ignorance of people. Various attempts made by the government to create awareness among the people has failed. Yet, democracy prevails in its indirect form today in many countries.